Is the housing market bubble ready to burst? That is the question for today, and I wanted to answer that for you. So I'm getting this question on a daily. We all know that rates are up. We know that demand is down and inventory is up, right? So what's the writing on the wall? They say interest rates can go up to 7% within, in the near future. So the writing on the wall is the feds are trying to slow the market down, as they should. But are we going to have a big burst in the bubble? My opinion is no. Let's talk about that. So let's go back to 2006, right? This is when we had the big old mortgage meltdown and the real estate crash. What caused it? Foreclosures flooded the market, right? They were the prime driver to home values just crashing. And what were the reasons for those foreclosures? There's two of them. So one of them is, number one, is that many buyers were not truly qualified for the loans that the lenders were approving them for. There is 228 subprime loans, 327 subprime loans, 1% negative amortization loans, and then most importantly, there is zero money down purchases, right? So if someone puts down zero and there is the littlest bit of a tick in the, mar in the, uh, in the home values that go on the downside, right? And now their 228 adjustable rate mortgage is adjusts and they have to refinance out of that but now you're negative or upside down that's it right there that's the catalyst and that's what we saw so much of okay so another reason is that a lot of homeowners back in that time back in that 2006 time uh, home values were going up so fast that home buyers i'm sorry homeowners were pulling out cash they were cashing out up to a hundred percent of their equity thinking that their home would just keep going up in value because it was going up so fast they were taking that money they were you know taking vacations, doing remodels, paying off debt, paying off cars, whatever they were doing, but they were cashing out up to 100% of their equity, okay? So what happens when there's a little bit of a downtick in the market and you find yourself now upside down? Those buyers were walking away from their houses, causing many, many foreclosures, which, like I said, was the reason. So why is today's market different? So, like I said, back in 2006, lenders made it very easy to qualify for a loan. Today, the guidelines are much stricter. So the last several years, you know, these lenders are put together these guidelines that are very strict. So full documentation, tax returns, bank statements, pay stubs, the whole nine plus buyers are having to put down a significant amount of money for their down payment, as opposed to back in 2006 where they're offering 100% financing. So now we've got a buyer that's actually approved for that loan. They more than likely got a 30 year fixed rate and they're putting down a significant down payment. That is, you know, that's that's a good solid buyer in there. So if there is a little bit of a dip in the market, that buyer is approved for the payment that they're paying for the next 30 years, right? So the chances of foreclosure happening is almost slim to none, especially because they put down a significant down payment. Could have been five, 10, 15, 20, 40% down, but they've got skin in the game, right? So. This this type of this type of a, a shift we actually needed like it's been a seller's market for the last five years right so going into the shift might create like a neutral market which is actually really really good because so many buyers have been having to pay so much over appraised value just to get into a property I've seen buyers pay you know fifteen I'm sorry fifty a hundred two hundred three hundred thousand dollars over an appraisal just to get into a property. It's not fair, it's not right. So this shift I think is very, very healthy and is much needed. So we're not gonna see these uh, um, um, home prices continue to just go through the roof. There is gonna be a leveling off. So if you're thinking about selling, right now can literally not be, a, there can be literally not a better time than right now. So during the spring and summer season is always the busiest part of home sales, right? So inventory is still low, buyers are still out there, but rates are up. So there's a lot less buyers that are qualified for your property right now. So if you're thinking about selling, if you're thinking about doing a refinance, literally now's the time. I would love to sit down and talk an exit plan with you. I would love to sit down and strategize with you and educate you on what's going on in the market and then put together a plan. If you're thinking about making a move, like I said, there could be no better time than right now. I hope you found this information useful. Please let me know if you have any questions and have a great rest of your day.